Man, folks. Get your line with it, UrbanSportFishing.net. It's your boy Doug, and you are watching another episode of Doug's Fishing Journal. Bang! Get my stuff set up. A lot of boat traffic today, but uh, we're gonna try to be the street, go slide to the north end of the lake, get away from this stuff. Y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna show y'all what I got rigged up. We're gonna do a little walleye fishing, a little bass fishing. We brought some minnows. What? We didn't get any beers up. We forgot the beer. We got the brew. Y'all say what's up to Sugar Bird, man. Sugar Bird couldn't be with us, man. She's busy. But she's in. Huh? We're going to try to bring them back. But that's what's up. I'm going to get at you. I'll let you know what we do. All right. All right, folks, so today I'm gonna start off with a, uh, you know, the same setup I had the last three videos at Lake Murray, man. We're going with the Ned Rig. The next, the next setup. <laughs> the next set. Hey, next setup, man. You got some slip bobber rigs? I got some, yeah, I got some slip bobber We're gonna set up some slip bobber rigs, so y'all. Right? Yeah, I got the hooks. We y'all stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do a little slip bobber rig and all that. So we're gonna be doing live minnows with slip bobber rigs and Ned Rigs for them smallmouth, so. All in the whole mouthful right here. Bang. Stay tuned. Bang, bang. All right, fam. So, slip bobber set up. Now, you might already know this. If you don't, here you go. In 10 seconds. Q, you count. <laughs> 10. Nah, hold up, we gotta let the ball down first. First, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your slip bobber, your bobber stoppers. That's exactly what these are. You need your bobber stoppers. You're gonna need some pinch weights and some crappie hooks. Number two crappie hooks are what we're using. Size two eagle claws is what we're using today. So, first, first off, you know, you wanna put your line on first. comes with this little piece on there to hold your knot so you want to put that on first and you want to take your bead you want to put your bead on after that I'm half blind so hopefully I don't drop that bead but put your bead on under that line then your bobber this is a slip bobber notice there's no there's no snap so slip bobber have a hole all the way through slide that through Slide that barber through. Next, I'm gonna take my pinch weights. I like to go about, I say about a foot from my hook to start off with. Add me a pinch weight. So get you two pinch weights or enough to uh, enough to hold your minnow down there. Some shitty pinch weight. All right, there you go. Pinch weights. My size too, nice gap in it. We're gonna be fishing live minnows. I put about that far up. Say about seven inches of line from my from my weight. Simple fishing is not. Clip off the tag in, and there you go. That's what you got. So. <clears throat> The knot is here to set your depth. So at some point, I'm gonna set my depth. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this little plastic piece off too. Cinch it down a little bit. Now you're ready to go. Now I can move that freely. Change the depth. You know what I'm saying? Need a line and a ball. Just like that. Y'all stay tuned. Let's get on some of these out. Fam, we ready. We're gonna launch the boat. Can I see you too? Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. All right, fam. So uh, we just launched the boat. We're gonna go ahead and get at it, man. It's a lot of folk out here on the water right now. So uh, hopefully, them fish will still cooperate. So pretty hot, too. We're gonna stay hydrated and get out there, man. Y'all stay tuned. We waiting on Buster Fonte. E Rock gonna, gonna run the gonna man. Man, the shoulder motor today. Yeah, he rock going captain today, man. Let's bust something, man. Y'all stay tuned. Bang, bang. Hi, right, fam. You see me balling over here. We just made it. Pull up to the first spot. Looks so small ish. Oh, Buster Fonte, of course, you know, he banged in one eye already. I just missed one, so. We gonna go ahead and start it now. Let's start it now. Bang, bang time. We gonna get one of this area. All right, folks, so let me get me a good old cast. Maybe I can catch me a, maybe I can catch me a brown bass. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. This is crazy, man. Lake Murray, I'm out here on the boat. You know what I'm saying? With my dogs. That's my dog, that's my dog. I just had one, though. Let's see if I can get me one on camera. Basically, all we doing today, folks, is fi fishing a flat. Those rocks come out, drop off, and it's an extended flat coming out here. We got a buoy way out there, so we probably just going to fish around this area, you know, and work this area. Oh, I got his ass that time. It's that time. Ooh, uh, little brown bass ass. Got him. Yeah, it didn't take long, man. Mr. Bang Bang. We ain't even going to look at him after this, though. This is over. This is old. He ain't big enough to. He ain't even big enough to look at. Ugh, I lied. Look at him. He pretty, ain't he? Dang, See you later. Big, just jump right there, See bro. you later. Some big. Some nice. Just jump right there. Might throw me a top water. Top it. Try to make sure I don't get hooked in the face by none of these thirty baits. I knew somebody was gonna eat it again. They, they were just too vicious on this they point. Two vicious. Uh, say I got another one. <laughs> oh man, let him get off too. Oh man, say I got another one. Look at this. Next cast. I caught that one. I'm hooking these fish off that zoom crawl. That's what that is right there. Zoom crawl on the net head. So. Yep, might as well put that thing 10 foot deep and sit it out there. So, we do also have minnows, so we're gonna put some minnows out for these walleye. But right now, you know, I can't help it but to give me a couple of these brown bass and do it like that. Show y'all how it's country for. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Damn, that shit deep. Man. Woo! We was too hot, dog. 
It was too hot. I had to get in my drawers. Yeah, I'm in my drawers, dog. Man, man, say, bro. <laughs> Look at old Buster Fonte. <laughs> E-Rock, you know, it's break time. You know what I'm saying? E-Rock on break. <laughs> so, woo. Man, that's how we do it, man, over here in the South, man. In the South, we get too hot, man. We gonna dip. <laughs> we gonna dip. And I don't care if we ain't got no swim trunk, dog. Real talk. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> don't tell. Bro, it's six, it's six foot. It's sit down to five foot. Ah, ah. I'm telling you, dog. That shit look like three foot. I'm gonna get up out there, bitch. I'm get up out of there. Woo. Woo. Y'all stay tuned, man. We might get some underwater footage or some shit, man. I might go catch some. I'm gonna catch smallmouth in my drawers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna come kick them. I'm gonna kick my feet up. I'm gonna smoke one and catch small mouth in my drawers. Look at Buster Fonte looking Ooh. like a polar bear. I <laughs> cold, ain't it? <laughs> Ooh. Deep right there. I know it's deep. It took your breath away. <laughs> you get him out of there. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Uh, uh, it's in my jacket, in my shirt pocket that's laying in there. The shirt I had on. It's a lighter in there. Man, y'all go check us out on Facebook and Instagram, urbansportfishing.net on, on all platforms. Scratch the net. Urban Sport Fishing on all platforms. You check out my boy, E-Rock Fishing Spot. Man, y'all can come join us one of these days. Oh yeah, you know that fool. You know that fool, Urban Sport Fishing TV, baby. Get your line with you. Get your line with you. Man, I got this life jacket. I'm just floating. Low this shit is crazy. Oh, now, like I, now I see why them white people out in the water. <laughs> exactly. Shit. Now I see why them white folks in the water. And I, family, so I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to get up in this water and see if I can't catch me some in my drawers. You know what I'm saying? Wade fishing for some of these small bass. Small mouth bass. <laughs> but small, small mouth bass. So, I'm walking up on some of these little areas. And I'm gonna do me some little fishing, man. I'm gonna do me a little fishing. See if I can't bust one up over here, man. See if I can't get me a bass. Water is beautiful. Getting up in this thing, man. Bunch of zebra mussels out here too. Bunch of zebra mussels. Exactly what that is. Black, that black stuff. Zebra mussels. And keep pushing. Keep pushing. They probably tripping out, man. They like, what this dude over here doing in his drawers, man? Yeah, you see the rod, though. And I ain't talking about the fishing pole. <laughs> uh, you gonna get us one good one. You gonna get us one good one and get up out of here. Got him. Got him, folks. Didn't take long. Did not take long. What is this? Oh, <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> Smiley. Small jaws. It's your boy. Small jaws in my drawers going hard. <laughs> Small jaws in my drawers. <laughs> Bust my bait off too, man. Let me get that off, man. Caught that one on the Ned rig. You got a nice little cast to catch on that. And we wave. That's a bang bang right there, bro. Hey, yeah, folks. There he is. And I'm ass deep in the water, man. So, we gonna let him go. We gonna let him go. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Ah. Ooh, that's a little deep. That's a little deep right there. Let's get up out of there. Whew. Uh, put me another bait on. 
got me another bait. That wasn't a yum that I just caught it on. That was off one of those Ned, Ned bugs that I just caught them on. So we're gonna keep throwing, we're gonna keep throwing that Ned bug. See if we can't pick off some more of these guys. Pick off some more. There should be plenty of fish over here, man. Should be plenty of fish. I'm pretty sure they're not really scared of me. All these people swimming in the water and all this boat traffic, they probably not worried about me at all. So, let's pop some. I'm sneaking up on them boys like an assassin. <laughs> uh, they scared to come outside. taking that Ned rig and I'm just kind of bouncing it softly on the bottom, trying to keep it in that same place for a little while. You know what I'm saying? Kind of keep it in the same area. So, that's what we doing. Real slow, real slow presentation. I want those fish to see it. Look at this fish right here. You see this fish right here? That's a drum or something. Obviously they not scared of me. They must not be scared. Probably don't even notice me here. That's crazy. Drum. Oh, that's a drum. Bunch of drum in this lake, boy. Clear, drum full lake. Got another smile mouth. Let me try to keep up with him. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on. Brown bass. <laughs> Brown bass, baby. Hell, I might stay out the boat. <laughs> I might not get back in the boat. Let's get him out for there. Let's get him out for there and get him back in the water. I'm gonna see you later, little homie. See you later, little homie. You guys need to look at that bait. You know, that's what I'm using, a Ned bug on the Ned head. Seems to be like what they like. Seems to be what they like, man. If I can't really get a bite or get them to react to something, I've been putting this on and pretty much getting bites. Now, all these fish ain't huge fish. They're not. They're not monsters at all, but they are definitely fun to catch, and I'm and I'm loving it too. So we gonna keep doing this. I'm hooked on Lake Murray and these smallmouth and this clear water, man. I'm hooked on it. Man, if you guys are in the Oklahoma area, man, it would be, it would probably be a good idea to check this lake out, man. If y'all just trying to do some recreational stuff or if you're trying to fish, you know what I mean? Like literally, I'm standing in my drawers catching smallmouth, man. I could literally have my family on the bank grilling and be doing the same thing. So y'all definitely check this out, man. Check, check this out. Lake Murray. And I got hung again. All right, folks back in the boat we done got our ass out the water somewhat <laughs> Q still got his foot up under there but you know what I'm saying you got one rock rock them bang one on cue uh there he is uh, flickety flickety oh got off got off slow down rock slow down slow down slow down get you okay got him oh man come on mm, they on it though Damn. <laughs> I've been missing the hell out of these fish though, dog. Like, I've been getting a lot of hook sets on camera, but none of these fish are hitting the boat. <laughs> I got a bunch of smallmouth jumping out the water footage. <laughs> Part of the day, live bait. That's the number two smiley on the live bait. Number two right there on the live bait. Bang bang. <laughs> of course, I've been over here bull corning, man. And uh, I ain't get my fish that I caught on, on camera, but it's okay. He wasn't about nothing. He wasn't about that life. So, I'm gonna sit here and wait till that barber go under, man. When that barber start going under, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna turn you on. I got a bite, I think, right now. Unless I'm on the bottom. No, I got a fish. Oh, smile, smile. 
That's what that is, folks. Smalley, little guy, too. Little guy. Bitty. Little itty bitty. We gonna let him go. All right, folk, bait it up again. I'm gonna hit throw it back out there. My little area, my little error. Them small mouth are literally hitting that bobble before, <laughs> hitting that minnow before it goes down, man. It's crazy. So, we are gonna sit here and wait. Wait till that bobble go down. Get your line with, man. <laughs> get your line with. Bang, bang. Let me get him off, man. Get y'all better look at that fish. That's the bass I just caught. He ain't no killer, but he pushed me. He actually kind of skinny, man. Take him out of his misery. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned. Okay. Home. <laughs> Got it off of there, though. There you go. I can't believe I still got my stuff. Oh, wow, look at this. Look what got me hung down in there. Down in the rocks. Not what we were looking for. Might put him on to catch a walleye, though. <laughs> Might put him on to catch what I'm looking for. Man. A little gargalai. Ate that whole minnow, though. That minnow down that dude's throat, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Get out of here. Death comes of you. Big gargala. Put me a minnow back out there. That sun all in my eyes. I'm gonna go stay this way. Put that line out. Don't sit her down. <laughs> my my barber gone. Got a, got a dead fish swimming on here because I did not know he was down there. If he don't jump, then we got a good chance, huh? Oh, nice smally wally, huh? We got, a, we got a chance, folk. We got a chance. Oh, he on there, though. And, he gonna, and we gonna save him. And he didn't eat the whole damn thing. Look. Nice smally. Nice smally, man. It's your boy. It's your boy. How did you boy? Mr. Bang Bang, huh? That's a fatty guy. That's a little fatty guy right there, man. A little fatty guy. We're gonna see him later. Bam. Bang, bang. All right, fam. As you can see, the sun going down. We're gonna call it a day. Of course, we not done, you know what I'm saying? We not done yet. We not done. So, we still looking for that wildlife. He ain't show up today. Uh, probably stay out here in the dark and get up out of here. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all getting them comments, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all, man. Go say what's up to E Rock on E Rock Fishing Spot. Go holler at my boy Buster Fonte on Urban Sport Fishing TV. And you already know it's Doug, man. Bang, bang. See you next week.